guys, it's Julia and welcome or welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a book haul for you guys. Some of these I don't know a lot about, I just bought them for various reasons which I'll, <laughs> which I'll share with you guys. I tried lifting all of them for my thumbnail and dropped them so they're not in order anymore but that's okay, we'll start, we'll start from somewhere. First up here I have Banana Fish. Uh, this is a manga that was recommended to me. It's kind of like Vice City action New York City type of manga. I'm going to talk about this one more in another video which is going to be recommending books subscribers have recommended to me which this is one of them so I'll talk more about it but it wasn't my favorite but I could see how people would like it. Depends on your taste in manga. But you'll just stay in the manga realm for a minute. So I got gifted Frankenstein by Junjo Icho by my friend Connor for my birthday. Um, so thank you so much to him. But this is one that I've been wanting for a long time. It was, I already read it. It was great. Loved it. Very interesting to see Junjo Ito's take on Frankenstein, like with his art and stuff. So if you like Frankenstein at all, recommend. Um, there's also other short stories in this as well, which I didn't know about or was expecting. So it also has other stuff in it. But yeah, I quite liked it. Next up here we have Uzumaki by Junjo Ito. Uh, this was gifted to me for my birthday by my fiance Dylan, so thank you so much to him. So excited. Uh, only thing I know or need to know about this one is it's Junjo Ito, horror, and there's spirals. And that uh, this one, Tomi, and the next one I'm about to show you are connected in some way, I believe. I need to look more into it. But yes. Gyo, gyro, not gyro, that's food, gyo. Gaio. We'll learn. We'll learn. I don't know what it's about either, but if you put the spines together and then the Tomi one, beautiful. It's a complete set, so I'm glad I have more Junjo Itos to read, especially for October. Yes. It's up here I have Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. This is also one that is going in my subscribers recommend. Subscribers, blah, blah, blah. I gotta get it right. This is also going in that video uh, that is uh, reading books that subscribers have recommended to me. So I'm super excited. I'm over halfway through it and I'm loving it. All I want to like tell you right now is like it's a haunted house story. I'll definitely give you guys like the whole breakdown when I'm done but like it's very interesting. We go back and forth between the perspective of the father who him and his family had a horrible experience at this house and ran out in the middle of the night and then we have that perspective um but it's the book he's written. So he wrote a book that made him and his whole family famous, even though some people think it's bullshit. Um, so we follow like that perspective. So like we get to see, he tells the story of what happened. And then on the flip side, it's the daughter who, you know, years and years later, uh, inherits the house and what she does with it. And her trying to like uncover what happened because she was really young and doesn't really, remember everything so yeah I love it so far enjoying it very much also for that video idea I have Psycho which I finished and really liked uh I've never seen the movie I, I plan to see it this month but I want to read the book first <laughs> this book is very highly acclaimed um it's about you know Bates Motel and Norman Bates and the stuff that he kind of gets himself into it's really short. I would recommend it, especially for like this month or this time of year, or if you read spooky books all year round, which is even better. Same thing. But yeah, I'm gonna watch the movie. Let me know if you guys have read the book or the seen the movie. I'd love to know. Next up here I have The Exorcist by William Peter Blady. This is a new edition that I ordered. Look at it. Look at its beauty. It's creepy, but I love it. It's one of those olive editions, which I have for another book, but it's like a nonfiction book, so I'm surprised, but st stunning. I've talked about this book a lot on my channel, especially since I uploaded the review and everything, and it's been a new favorite. This is basically about Reagan, who starts to get really, really sick, like her behavior start changing, a lot of things start changing, she starts to notice things. Um, it's a wild ride, but she, there's an exorcism, obviously. You might have seen the movie or heard of it. Well, phenomenal book. Probably my favorite book of the year so far. So I want another copy. Next I have some Joe Hill books to talk about. So I 
I own, I, they're over there, that's why I'm looking. There's, I own Strange Weather and The Firemen, which I haven't read those. But Nosferatu I read years and years ago, and I loved that book. It was great. Um, if you don't know, he's Stephen King's son. But yes. So I picked up more of his books, and Heart Shaped Box is for that video that I've been talking about throughout this video. Um, I have two copies. I, they sent a dam slightly damaged one this one it has a bend here and then they're like okay we'll just send you another one and I'm like oh okay so I don't really know what to do with the other copy but we'll figure it out this sounds phenomenal like I'll read you the first little line it's aging death metal rock legend Judas Coyne is a collector of the macrobe a cookbook for cannibals a used hangman's deuce and a snuff film but nothing he possesses is unique or as dreadful as his latest purchase off the internet a one-of-a-kind curiosity that arrives at his back door in a black heart-shaped box. A musty dead man's suit still inhabited by the spirit of its late owner. And now, everywhere Judas goes, the old man is there, watching, waiting, dangling a razor blade on a chain for his bony hand. Phenomenal thanks. I'm excited. I don't know if I'm gonna read it, listen to the audiobook, but as soon as I'm done um, Home Before Dark, gonna be this guy and then I'll be able to make that video but yes <laughs> I went book shopping at like a used bookstore and I, I found horns it was only a few dollars so I thought since I'm here uh, I'll pick it up I don't know what this one's about except that the monster or whatever like actually has little horns like I've seen the movie poster but I don't want to know too much next up here I have haunting the deep this is by Adriana Mather this is the author that wrote How to Hang a Witch, which I really ended up enjoying if you've seen my recent videos. And she wrote this book too. It's like a sequel companion, but it's about the Titanic. So I don't even know. I don't want to know too much. I'm just gonna read it, but I don't know if she has a personal connection to the Titanic and that's why she's writing about it. Just like how she had a family history with uh, How to Hang a Witch and stuff like that. But I'm super excited to read it because I really like the, her other book. I'm excited. Next up here, I have two mass market paperbacks that I got from Walmart because they were on sale. Uh, first up here, I have The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. Now I'm just collecting Riley Sager books, um, which I'm glad. I'm excited to read more of them. Not sure what this one's about. Uh, I don't always love knowing too many details of what they're about. I got Fairy Tale by Stephen King. I bought this because I don't have this one in my Stephen King collection yet. I don't really know what it's about. I've heard mixed things either way. If you've read it, definitely let me know. But I bought the two little paperbacks because they were a good price and happy. Next up here I have the Modern Guide to Witchcraft. So this one I talked about in recent videos and then I read this one. I started reading this on ebook form and I ended up like liking it so I bought it. Um, by the end of it I just thought it was okay. But yes, I, I did buy it. We have an Edgar Allan Poe edition. So I have a whole little Edgar Allan Poe shelf collection going. So whenever I see like a new edition that I haven't seen before, I try to pick it up. So this is that. It was um, only like 10 or $15, I think. But I think it's beautiful. It has like nice illustrations in it as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys are doing well. Have a great month. Happy October. Very excited. Leave a little black heart in the comments if you made it this far in the video. I really appreciate you and I'll see you guys soon with a new one. Bye.